Hey YouTube, Insane in the Rain. Today, it's my fourth Blender Minecraft application tutorial. And today, we'll be using lights, or emit values, to make pumpkins glow. So first off, I hope you all have that download link I think I provided in the first Minecraft Blender application tutorial. Blah. And we're going to navigate to that, so hit Shift F1, and this will bring up your append menu. I'll just reset that and navigate to where you find your file that you downloaded. Mine's right here. I'll open that, go to Object, and you'll be presented with all these options. We'll pick Pumpkin On. And it's all the way over there, so we'll change to Orthographic, Front View, and grab this using the G keys and stuff like that. Place it right there. And we're also going to delete this light, because you don't need it. Position that exactly in the center, add a plane, scale it up by 100. Alright, so we have this. Now, you may be wondering, well, why is it black? It's because we're not in textured view. So we're going to hit this, switch to texture. And if yours is blurry, like, but mine's not, you would go to File, User Preferences, System, and Uncheck Minimaps even though mine's not already not checked, but I don't know why. But it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this pumpkin and we're going to assign um, a texture to these holes right here where the eyes cover where like the eyes and the mouth are carved out. So to do that, we're going to go into edit mode with tab, make sure all the faces are selected, W for subdivide, and set cuts to seven. Yeah, just stick it seven. All right. Hit W for subdivide again, and change that back to. Well, it's really laggy. To one. Now we have one face for each pixel, as you can see here. This may not be practical in big things, but this is what we're going to be doing. So, I'm going to turn this off. Actually, keep it on. And using C, we're going to left click and select all these vertices or faces where we can see the light coming out from. So, let me just get all this selected here. I would much rather enjoy using the C key than my vertex selection key because it just works a lot better. It's much smoother as well. So we have these vertices and we're still in edit mode. So we'll expand this, go to the textures panel, and hit new. We'll change this to pumpkin emission. Now we're going to assign this texture to these faces. So if we go back, actually, we should, well, before we go that, well, <laughs> I messed up here. We're going to hit control I to select the inverse of everything that we have selected. Switch to pumpkin light up here. Maybe rename this because I'm a real stickler. Probably proper capitalization. Pumpkin. Turn this emission value to zero, which was previously giving the light, but now it's not. And we're gonna hit assign. Now, if we render, well, we won't see anything because there's no lights. So let's switch back to solid view. And see now, you can see that the face, or the eyes and the mouth are highlighted here. That's because they share a different texture. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a material that sort of matches the color of the emitting eyes of a pumpkin. That looks about right. Turn the peculiarity off. Actually, point 0.2 hardness. 100. That's just arbitrary. Nothing really important there. Let me turn this bit of a color up. It's a little bit too dark. There we go. Turn up the intensity. Now, we're going to go to scene settings. And in this scene, the settings are going to be a little bit different than most of my other things. As you've seen, I usually hit ambient occlusion, 0 0.2, multiply, and indirect lighting approximate. Where this is different is environment lighting. 
we're going to turn this energy down to 0.1 because we don't want that much light. If the pumpkins are the main thing providing the light, then we don't want any other light to seep through. One thing I forgot to do is in this, we have to go to shading, hit emit, so I forgot 0.9. Now, if we render, you'll see that the pumpkin is glowing and it's, well, fire, supposedly, is pouring out in out of it around the scene. We're going to make this a little bit better. It's not that noticeable, so if you want to skip this, you could just start right here. Stop. You could use a ramp texture by clicking ramp, and add this, grab it here, add this, and grab that there. Now what ramp does is, it's kind of complicated. I'm not. Sh I'm just trying this. I'm not sure if it actually works, but just copy about these settings. Have about a yellow there. Oh, closed it accidentally. Here, at this point, we'll drag it out. Add a orangey color. Make sure alpha is set to 100. That's one of the few things. One of the, not one of the few things. One of the things I always forget. And it may make a difference, but I'm not entirely sure. Alright, so that's your pumpkin. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Insane in the rain here. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite if you want to subscribe so you know when the next tutorial comes out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.